Looks like a good fish. Good morning, boys and girls. That's Chris right there behind me. Over here by the number five there in red is J-Bal. We're at the mouth of the river, right at the jaws where the jetties stick out. We're gonna do a little salmon fishing. You know, we don't usually uh, just give you all the landmarks and locations and let you know exactly where we're fishing when we're out here on the river. But uh, today we're gonna be fishing directly underneath the green number five. So if you know, you know. If you wanna try to hunt it down, do a little sleuthing, you'll be able to find that green number five and come out here and throw some spinners <laughs> underneath it also. All right guys, here we go. First cast, let's do it. Oh, that hit me right off the rocks right there on that big, beautiful pink lure, chromer looking wild coho. But it's wild fish week, so I get to take one home. I am stoked. That wasn't that long of a fight or nothing. He immediately rocketed straight in, and then all of a sudden was in the rocks. He like came right in here and was all of a sudden in the jetty. I thought I was going to lose him. He wanted to get caught. Yeah, he wanted to get caught. Um, if Chris hadn't got him in the net, he probably would have gotten this hook out because he kept just slamming in his head into rocks, sliding in between them and stuff. So stoked on that. Fish down. You! You guys, look at this epic morning. Check out this fog bank out here at the Jaws. It's just blocking the end of the jetty there with the sun banking off of it. Obviously the sun coming in, up in from the east. And man, is it a beautiful morning out here. The low tide is in like 10 minutes, which there's a slack tide after. So it's gonna be a little bit before the, the surge of water gets pushing back in really nicely. There's fish in here, um, but I have a feeling that it's gonna really turn up hot here in the next hour or two. So let's get some fish. This thing ain't working right. We uh we use them with the uh, reel reel on the bottom, Chris. Yeah, yeah, like that. Then you oh. can crank forward. Ah. Yeah, it's been a while. Yeah. <laughs> I'll show you guys a couple uh, spinners we uh, we got for options today. You know, around here the salmon coho in general really, 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 really like pink. You know, you'll catch coho on green and stuff like that, but if you're hunting a coho, throw throw pink all day long. Um, as far as uh, Chinook go, they really like the chartreuses and the greens, you know? We got a little mixture of some oranges. These are all R&B lure co. So yeah, there's a couple different color varieties. What do you think about it? Like, um, I like running pink for the coho, basically what you just said, pink for the coho, green for the nooks, but um, we've caught plenty of both on both. Um, for going up the river a little bit, I'd probably run something a little smaller like this. Or if you know there's a lot of smaller fish that are hitting smaller bites. Um, I like running the, one of these um, bigger size Yeah, look size at the, look at the flasher on this thing. Yeah, look at the size of the blade on that and the weight. The weight's not actually that much bigger, but it is heavier. It's got a little bit more girth to it. And the blade on that really moves water. It's got a big thud to it, right? But. Um, I'm probably gonna switch up and throw one of these. I've been throwing a little R&B. This one's a nautical. Um, it's pretty old. I've been fishing this for a long time. The hook has got a little bit of rust on it, and this uh, hoochie is pretty worn out. We're gonna maybe run a uh, lure refurbishing um, episode for you guys. We'll see if we ever get to that and show it to you. But um, you can go in here, pop this hoochie, put a brand new hoochie on, scrub up your way, put a new hook on. It'll basically be a brand new lure. This is gonna work anyways though. I'm throwing it right like this. Such a great day. Let's get some fish though. We need three on the bank at least before we can do something else. There we go. Yeah. Great. 
Look at that, Chris is on right here. Woo! I'm gonna get this over you. Stop getting tangled up in you. Looks like a good fish. on that thing. Ah, pretty pretty crazy and hectic, you guys. Holy dude. It doesn't Woo. get much better than that right there. That was like the Holy fine, bro. That was like the fine line between amateur and pro. Like we fully amateured up, landed that fish because it slipped out of the net into the rocks. But then we swung around and got the pro job on still still recovering it. It's probably pretty funny watching us like fall back and forth. I fell in the water twice, Chris <clears throat> fell in the water. You go and do something like this and totally redeem yourself. Look how mangled and bent this beautiful pink R&B is. We'll straighten it out a little bit and it's gonna catch more fish today, but I'm about to get my limit. Woo! That's Bro. a beautiful fish. Look at that fish. That's a welcome back oh, fish man. right there. You guys are watching The Bite. You. Chris kept saying, nah, I'm limited in today. Limit. It looked like a little steelhead for a second. It's got such a green back. Such a green top, huh? Yeah. I'm gonna throw some lures to the boys today. Jay Bow's turn. Yeah. Woo! Yeah! There yeah! It is. There it is. 
There it is. Yeah, it's oh. just about keeping that lure in the water. You know, like I was saying, it's the moment. It's the moment when you least think it's all of a sudden going to be on. Because if you're like on this cast, on this cast, it's like it's not oh, that yeah. cast, Dude. but it's when you're just sitting there continuing Bro. to do it. What a day! We have a nook to the bank. We got two wild coho. He just got a clipper. Yeah. Nice you. boys. Feels good, right? Yeah. What's up guys? So we just wrapped it up. We were out there hucking away still for a little bit. Didn't really get any kind of outro on the jetty. We realized that we were limited on coho and um, the nook is kind of a unicorn catch. It's hitting the lottery. So we're gonna get out of here. We're gonna go do a little bit of mushroom picking and uh, we're gonna just call it a wrap. Like what a beautiful fun harvest of a day. Look at this four. Yeah, we just went out with so many fish. Yeah, four beautiful salmon. We are really only out here for a few hours. You know, we came out at like sunrise and it's probably noonish or something, one, two. I don't even know what, but you know, so uh, half a day, but look at that. Uh, just. We're all eating good tonight. Yeah, family and friends too. Two, Everything. two beautiful wild cohos. A fin clipped coho, which is a super rare fish to catch here. There's no hatchery fish in this river system, so it's probably this fish was destined for a river south or north of here. Something, yeah, chasing the ladies, it's lost. Um, but that's a luck box fish. Also, it's really nice to get a clipper. Yes. And then uh, this just monster. Uh, probably 75, maybe 80 pounds of salmon. <laughs> no, it's about 80 pounds. <laughs> no, I think it's probably at least 20. Let's call it 20. Um, yeah, I think it's 20. I'd be surprised if it wasn't at least 18, but it could be as much as 22, 23. 22 maybe. is what we're here for. Boom. You're watching the bite. The bite. You. I feel like if the fight wasn't, uh, you know, what was it, like three or four minutes? If it wasn't that long of a fight, he would have been gone. You know what I mean? He was tired enough to sit in those rocks for Asher to tail him. Yep, yep, that's true. But hands down, been... he would have he would have had enough push to get the heck out of there. There was an exit to the yeah, rocks. He was, he was pretty dead. He was like, you know, so exhausted that he didn't really realize. And he probably didn't even know he wasn't hooked anymore. Yeah. Because it was still in his mouth, still had the lure in his mouth. Ugh, but, uh, yeah, he was so exhausted. He didn't really realize that he had been freed. He still had the hook in his mouth and line dragging behind him. The line was a little bit, you know, um, pulling along the rocks and stuff. So he still felt some tension, but he was pretty Tank, flattened baby. out by the time um, he got off He's the, uh, still... off the uh, well, not off the hook. By the time the line broke and he was coming out the neck, he, he was, was tired. Uh, he was already pretty tired. And then he was gone. We couldn't see the fish and it was just like, oh, since it's like a pastime or like a classic, or I don't know what it is for me to hold other people's fish on the channel. I'm gonna go ahead and hold this one up for a second. Too. Bro, that was team Whew. right there. He's getting a cut for that. He gets the tail cut for that. Go ahead and take him. Team effort, baby. But that's a chody that's fish. A, that's a big thing online is trying to guess weight. What do you guys think? Uh, put in the comments what you think, but I'm thinking 22. Maybe wishful thinking. Anyway. Woo!